guys. Welcome to episode 20 of Scribbles with Jonathan. I'm your host, Jonathan Rector. Uh, today we're going to talk about silhouetting. Um, I hope to at least uh, scratch the surface a little bit on it, get you guys a little understanding of what I'm talking about uh, when I do it. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to use a Sharpie right away because I figured it'll show up the blackness right away. Now a silhouette uh, is the general outline uh, of a shape. Not the contour would be the outline, I apologize. The silhouetting would be the entire object blacked in. And here I'm just drawing a, a, a person just kind of walking. Now the idea behind this is a good silhouette should be able to do two things. One, tell you right away what it is you're looking at, and two, not tell you what it is exactly by looking at it. And what I mean by that is right away you could see that's it's a human holding a bag walking. But at the same time, you could turn that into an alien walking with a bag. Uh, the idea is to make your brain think in solid shapes so that um, the entire image comes across clear and the details are the very last thing you're actually worrying about. So here... I'm trying to go for a little bit more of a heroic pose. And again, this could be a regular person standing there. This could be an alien. Um, I'm going to do one thing, though, uh, just to separate it, just so you can see right away when I'm done. And there you go. It could be just a, uh, an adventurer, Conan, standing on somewhere, on a rock. But right away, I'm just going to throw two little things on the top. Now, that could be Batman, and I'll even toss a cape on. Or this could be a demon king warrior. I hope you guys understand the, the, what I'm trying to go through. And, and the practical part of this is what I do sometimes. Uh, this, this is a little bit better in Photoshop. Uh, you go in and basically you just do like a scribble. And then you try to turn that into something. And the idea is, is a good character concept and design always has to have an awesome silhouette. Uh, it's more of a concept thing, but I do find that it helps when I need to come up with ideas and I'm struggling a bit, especially when it's like, you know, superheroes and stuff where everything's been done to death. Uh, okay, so I'm just doing a quick, you know, superhero again. Just just a quick guy. And this is how I usually like to do it in my work. And this is the other form of silhouetting that I, I, I wanted to touch upon. I'm just going to throw in the basic lighting. And what we're going to touch on is his belt. And the reason why I'm talking about the silhouetting is because in the previous video... Episode 19, I was doing a, a, a space adventurer guy, and what I quickly talked about was the idea of silhouetting on his belt, and I, I, I briefly talked about it, but the idea is, is once you're done adding your shading to an object, sometimes things get lost. I'm not a big fan of adding like a, a white halo, you know, like the the white outline around the character. It, like, let's say I added a black background to the drawing I'm doing right now. You know, his arm would get lost in the shadows and things. I'm actually a big fan of that. I think it, it it's up to your, you know, to establish your lighting so that you can actually make that work a little bit better. But here we go. So that's the drawing done. But what I want to do here is add like an extra little pouch just to make it look a little bit more interesting, you know. So there you go, I just have it there. Maybe I'll add a little bit of detail on there, maybe a little button there, you know, some stuff going on there. And as you, like, right away, like, I didn't really do anything. Just added some, some vague shapes, and to me, personally, anyway, that looks a little more interesting. And I think we're just going to stick with the Batman thing for a little bit. Um, but adding, you know, not just the shapes that they are, but make, it's a little harder to see on here, but making some interesting shapes out of shadows. Uh, the silhouette for me, is, is a big draw, especially when you're dealing with things that are in heavy shadows or away from the light. Instead of it just getting washed out with black, you can do things like this that will add, you know, a little bit more oomph, a little bit more pizzazz to your picture bit. Uh, here I'm just doing a very, very quickly, uh, you know, uh, shadowed face. Uh, what I am going to do here is, I, I had no idea about it, but I'll tell you it now, is I was trying to figure out, okay, if I had a face that was, you know, kind of shine, light was shining on it from the one side, what could I do to the face to make it interesting? So what I'm going to do is I'm, I, I make the ear, but I turn the ear into like a pierced ear, you know, so I can get some cool hooks and things in there. But I'll, I'll show you what I mean. And it's not even a realistic looking ear, to be honest with you. It's just the shapes. The shapes and the thickness is what, what I'm trying to go for. I, and, uh, you know, I, I encourage people to do this. What I'll do after this is I show you uh, an idea of how I would do a concept. It didn't turn out like <laughs> anything awesome or anything. Uh, I will probably try to do some more Photoshop videos because it's a little bit easier to do it in there because you get different brushes and different splatter effects and things, not just a Sharpie that's, you know. So here I'm just quickly doing, like, the top of an ear, I guess. And, the, like, that looks like a pretty, you know, far out ear, you know. But here I'm just going to do some quick shapes that are very different than the actual face. And just by adding a little couple earrings, like, see how that pops? You see how all of a sudden that's interesting as opposed to just doing, like, an oval or something for the ear? 
things like that you might want to try doing a little bit. I don't know. Hopefully, <laughs> you know, you get a little bit of something out of it. And in this one here, this is where we're going to do the more of a, the practical thing. Let's say you're stuck on, like, trying to draw a villain <clears throat> or something. Um, and what I do is I just do some quick, some quick lines. And then from that silhouette, you build inside out. You try to figure out what in that black chunk that you did could be used or turned into an actual character. So it's like working inside out. Uh, here, again, just throwing some shapes in with some lines. Uh, another technique, and I'm sure uh, this may not be new to all of you, but to some of you, um, once you do something like this, again, it works for Photoshop, you do a really black, thick, scribbly lines and stuff, and then you get, if you're doing it uh, traditionally, grab some white out, and just start doing some white lines just to break up the black a little bit. And in Photoshop, you can do the same thing by using a paintbrush that's white, and doing that, or just use an eraser on a separate layer. And here I'm just throwing in some arms just to get at the idea, uh, you know, a little humanoid-ish to get. And this is a really cool part right here. You can do some really cool detail work just with lines and worry about the detail later. I don't really touch on it uh, on this one here, but you'll see. So from what I got from this was like a guy standing in a cloak, and I'm not worried about final details here. The idea is, is you see the silhouette on the right? Getting that done first so that you can think of the unique ideas that you couldn't possibly normally get just by starting by you know doing your gestures and things like that what's really cool about doing the silhouettes is you can start making some really weird creatures and if you guys start watching or look flip through like a couple Star Wars concept art magazines or uh, a lot of especially movie and video game production artwork they do you could probably even do a quick Google search right now for uh, silhouettes concept art and you see what comes up, and so people come up with some like amazing, mind-blowing stuff. Makes this looks like a, make this look like a joke, hands down. But uh, it, it's definitely something I would, if you're struggling anyway, or if you're looking for something like, ah, oh, I'm stuck. I, I can't think of, you know, a cool-looking creature, or monster, a hero. It may be because you're thinking too much of, you know, anatomy of a human anatomy, and you know, if you want to get away from doing, you know, your traditional alien that looks anatomically correct or is like a human and you, you end up doing structure work and all that garbage uh, definitely definitely try doing that um, the silhouetting I, I find personally for me anyway that it, it helps a lot and I think even when I first started the scribbles with Jonathan in the beginning uh, if you go back it was like a little character on a, on a bike or something and I was doing the same thing but anyway thanks so much for watching you guys can get a hold of me on Twitter my username is art by jar and check out my website at jonathanrector.com and don't forget to subscribe to keep yourself up to date with the videos so I hope you guys have an awesome week keep your lead and your stylus is burning and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow I apologize there was a little bit of I had, we had a guest so I couldn't really do these too much but uh, I'll get us up to speed as uh, fast as I can all right guys take care and have a great day